Well, hello. <laughs> it's been a while, huh? Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> My mind has all these ideas, but you know how that goes. Um, I just uh, came back from not being available for two months. And um, that was an amazing experience for me to uh, not have internet or very unreliable internet, not being available for emails or close my web store so no orders to fulfill, um, no news. Uh, I was just on the sea and uh, something very special happened. It was like a deep sinking in even more so than before because there was nothing else happening and um yeah it was very precious and what interesting what an interesting outcome was um of that experience is this renewed energy huh <laughs> i had responded to being available again for uh private sessions with people and uh I had a few after coming back and I could see how much energy is in me again for human design. Um, and before going on, on this break for two months, I was really feeling that uh, it was time to stop my work and to, um, you know, maybe in a year to give everyone time, but to, to uh there wasn't energy there for it anymore it was it was uh i don't know it was like it was finished it was complete and um my immersion work is complete i'm not no i am not doing immersions anymore i i probably will do one more uh in taiwan because of um well, a commitment from long ago, and uh, with COVID, it never could happen. But truly, that work is finished for me. And uh, but it's it's remarkable how our strategy and our inner authority takes us on this journey. It really does. It's not like uh, we have a choice. You know, it, it's 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 as if I this this is my truth, okay? Because I feel it's very important to say that that um, it's not that I think anyone else should see what I should see. That this is just what I see and what is my truth. And for me, I see that um, it's as if my life has been written already and i'm just here to live it out if that makes sense and so part of that is um and i may have shared with this with you before i can't remember what i've said and where i've said it or who i've said it to or in a workshop or online or whatever i just don't know anymore but um i feel that the sacral center knows how long I'll be alive. And um, in that, when it's responding to this or that, it's almost like how much gas is left in the gas tank. So, because it's all about energy. When I go, uh-huh, I have the energy for it. When I go, uh-uh, I don't have the energy for it in a very simple way of looking at it. And, um, you know, the questions I had prior to taking the break were all, mm -mm, no, I can't keep doing this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And what, what I could see is that, you know, there wasn't a lot of energy left to maintain my life force until I'm no longer here, you know, when the body leaves. But then the break happened, and then all of a sudden, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, the energy is is back, and uh, 
yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting to live this. It's like, well, I won't say this. <laughs> it's exciting to live me. I love living me. I love being me. You know, um, and I never expected something like this. I really, wow. You know, all that I had read and was told by teachers and, and, um, um gurus and all about enlightenment and all of this it's like wow to live yourself is so beyond what the mind can ever think because it's just natural it's like you just sink into you and you just be there's nothing to do you know, there's, there's, it, you're just in the flow of life and you're taking on, on this journey. Uh, you can be taken kicking and screaming or you can be taken relaxed, but either way you're taken on this journey. And that's how I feel, you know, I'm taken on this journey and um, it's quite a journey. It's been amazing. You know, I'm, I'm doing these online workshops uh, for Taiwan right now. Everything is translated into Chinese. And, and um, it's a five-week-long uh, gathering of projectors and step-by-step -step a discovery program. And I do want to offer this sometime uh, in English, but I need to have five weeks that I'll be, I know I'll have reliable internet. So, but it is something I've responded to do in the future. And, um, you know, in my newsletters, uh, I can let you know about that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Okay. So, you know, so much of our strategy is about waiting. And so, you know, projectors was saying, asking, well, how long do I have to wait? And if I wait, nothing will happen. And, you know, this whole thing, I had the same. I hated waiting. I hated waiting. I mean, I'm from New York. Not only did we not want to wait, we wanted it to happen yesterday, huh? <laughs> that was the conditioning. But this waiting, I have to say, even though it, well, it did kill me. It killed my not self. Let's put it that way. But it felt like it was killing me. It felt like my whole life was falling apart as I waited for what? What's going to come? You know, who's going to ask me anything? Well, how am I going to pay my bills? Blah, blah, blah. All the mind stuff that comes. And uh, the waiting, wow, this is, is really something. And you know, the, our, our inner authority or decision-making process is very important. It's our GPS. And we're being taken, okay? But when we're aligned with that being taken within ourselves, it's really the smooth flow, even when there are bumps on the road, even when situations happen that are like, oh, I didn't expect that. But, but this, this waiting is really where the transformation happens. It's in the waiting. And generators, manifesting generators, it's way to respond. Now, I know some people out there say we're responding all the time, but if you are having another person come to you and ask you, and you respond, this is quite different. You don't initiate with the other. To make something happen as if you were a manifester. Well, that's my experience anyway, because I lived as a manifester my whole life. And for projectors, wait for the invitation. And, you know, reflectors, it's waiting to get kickstarted to something. Manifestors have to wait for the universe to push them into something. Well, there's this waiting for all of us. And this waiting really does something to the old patterns of behavior. Because when we're no longer moving in these old patterns of behavior, because most of us have been conditioned to go out there and make it happen. So we wait and we stop that. 
the old patterns of behavior can start to fall away. It's in the waiting because the waiting kind of forces us not to initiate, not to try to go out there and make something happen. And then the cells start changing. You know, I always think of it as, as um, I remember telling Ra this when we were hanging out one day, I said, I feel like my cells that are dying are passing on to the new cells coming in. Marianne waits, you know, and he had a good laugh about that. He says, yeah, you know, it's true because it's a seven years and it's not seven years and then you stop, you know, living your design. It's seven years for the conditioning to leave the cells, the stuck conditioning. Now we're always conditioned. I mean, I'm with my husband, his emotions go into me, but they don't affect me. They don't push into me and stay there. They go in and they go out, you know? So it's so different than um, in the past, you know, my open solar plex emotions would come in and it would push inside of me. And then I'd feel guilt and you know, like I did something wrong or upset or, you know, it, uh, amplifying the emotions of the other, all these triggers that would happen because of the open solar plex that had been filled. So the waiting, in a sense, slowly emptied what was stuck. See, when it's stuck, that becomes our new way of behaving. That's the conditioning in the open centers. They have us living those open centers rather than living our defined centers. So the waiting is a way to really um, break the old patterns of behavior so that the conditioning can leave, the stuck conditioning can leave. And then you meet life as yourself. And yeah, I know when someone's emotional around me. I mean, I'm always thinking my husband's thoughts, all of these things that are going on. It's natural. It's just what happens when people meet each other or you go into the store and it's all, but it comes through. And, and I like to call it like, I feel like a ghost, you know, rather than it coming in and sticking inside of me, it's like, I'm a ghost and it comes in, it's out the back, and I'm free, I'm me. And oh, I never dreamed this was possible. I truly never dreamed this was possible to live this. And we were born to live this. I mean, this is, this is our natural state, just took a while to get here, you know, and it's hard as an adult. It's really hard. And I remember Ross saying to me, you know, he says, after I was three years, he was l watching me a bit like under a microscope, you know, what's this weird experiment doing? <laughs> you know, I mean, I could really feel he was watching. And uh, he said to me one time, he says, now I understand why you had to be so radical. Because as an adult, there's no other way. And I was kind of shocked because I had never considered myself radical. You know, he had said, you can't be half pregnant. So it was like, okay, I need to be total. <laughs> that was it, you know. But it's, it's, uh, it's such a gift. It's so precious. I just, I am forever grateful to raw for persevering all these years and putting up with so much as a manifester. Um, and he had no choice either, but I'm grateful that he came into my life and, and initiated me into my own experiment. And um, 
Yeah, I got an email the other day from, from someone who said they felt like they were in a boat alone, floating in the ocean, and the boat's kind of rocking, and it's it's okay, but it's it's it can get in tense at times that I had to smile because that's exactly how I felt after my reading. I felt like there was a boat on the shore and my reading put me on that boat and Ra just pushed it out to sea. <laughs> and there I was, you know, I had no idea, no idea. There was no one I could ask. I didn't, see, you know, he just brought type. He just brought strategy. So there was nowhere to look. There was nowhere to go. And the only person I could ask was him. And he's a manifester. And I knew I couldn't initiate. So I was like, wow, I really have compassion for all of you in the experiment. I know how hard it is. And uh, it's part of why I do these online gatherings, so that there's a place for people in the experiment to gather and um, yeah, there's one happening this Sunday, I think, December 18th, and another one possibly in February. But it's it's beautiful to be with other people uh, who are, you know, not in the same place because we're all different and our lives are different and our charts are different, our types are different, all of that. But just, you know, this is not easy this experiment and i know that and it's just nice to know that you're with others who also know that and um anyway it was fun i enjoyed sharing with you today and chatting a little bit and um yeah i look forward to next time so take care and enjoy your ride and uh yeah bye for now Oh. <laughs>